Hello and welcome back to Paragon. We suddenly had this awesome video drop showing off all the new changes coming in the next patch and of course the patch notes. We're going to quickly go over all the major points and show some great new things you can do when this patch hits. On top of key information you might not have known if you'd watched the video originally. As many of you know, in this patch we're going to see the updated jungle models which look sexy as hell. We have a new red golem, we have the blue bug, we've even got the dinosaur black buff. They all look great and come with a set of little minions that also have new models as well. And finally, the prime has a new model as well, which looks hella beefy with new attack animations to go with it. It's about time, right? They look amazing, and I first saw these at the Epic Games event at Epic HQ. We were lucky enough to play on a build with tons of new things that I cannot tell you about, but when we did, we saw these new models and were very shocked. It's going to be good to be able to play with them in-game again at last. Now for some big game changes. We have Gadget, and yes, that's right, Kalari buffs. Thank you, world, I can play Kalari again. Firstly, with Gadget, her ultimate now has a bigger cast range, which will make it easier to land, safer to use, and make for much more powerful fight initiations. This could really help her gameplay. But here's the big change, the super interesting one. She has a new affinity now. She can now use order cards as well as her original intellect cards. This opens up the doors of her potential with a bunch of new cards that will help her support her team or even gain some very exciting active cards. Let's quickly cover some of the potential cards you can now use its gadget and my top picks. Menders and Shepherd's Vial are both interesting cards that could be very powerful early game if you're supporting. Celestine Diamond is very interesting. You can pick it up and choose to boost up mana or energy damage or even health regen while enjoying free mana when you upgrade it. It could be a good pickup. Elysium Diamond gives you mana regen and the all-important HP with your energy damage. There's a lot of choice with these cards in order and it's a nice variety. Lantern of Spring gives you energy pen that you'll be needing if you're building as a caster with great cooldown reduction or even physical armor. There's a lot of choice and they're all good. The new card Empyrean Mask can be used by Gadget now as well, giving you early game potential and survival and then you can drop it later. A potentially great card for her, Honor the Pure, the risk is of course the new card Scarab Claws that would ruin you if you keep using this late game, but it's an easy card to pick up early game, make an impact and then sell it later before anyone can build any claws. Another interesting card would be Jewel of Apostle. It's cooldown reduction but the active that converts your energy armor into energy damage, you could actually build a tanky gadget and then use this card to help you suddenly do good damage. We've also got Tempest Pearl for your support style gadgets. With the pearl in your speed gate, you could be able to boost yourself and your allies all around the map flying at lightning speed. It's going to be really fun. That's not all of the cards that could be good. There's tons that you can consider with these new affinities. These are just some of the options that stick out for me with gadget. But now for the tears of joy the buffs to Kalari. All of her abilities have received a base damage buff, meaning she's going to put out more damage full stop. She's going to be amazing throughout the entire game. That's great, but wait, there's more. She also has a new affinity as well. Oh damn, she got intellect cards now. This is absolutely huge. It gives her so much more potential in what she can actually build. Let me quickly cover some of my best picks in this new affinity. And Oh, and heads up, by the way, you should still build Kalari as a glass cannon. First up is a great thing for the players with less cards overall. You'd normally be building void steel daggers for damage and the all important physical pen to deal with this tanky meta but not everyone has those cards. In fact, I only have one of those, so now we can actually build Fracturing Spike. You get the physical pen and the damage that you wanted while sneaking in some useful mana regen as an extra positive. We've also got Burst Engine for damage and mana regen, should you want the mana regen. However, it's unlikely because we now get access to an amazing card for Kalari. This is potentially the best card Kalari can now use in this affinity, and it's Mutagem. Simply buy one and fill it with damage, and you get tons of mana for Kalari without needing to put any mana upgrades in it. Thanks to Mutagem, Kalari will not really have any mana problems ever again. And if you're sneaking in Fracturing Spikes in your deck, then that mana regen is going to be really useful in your bigger mana pool. A super interesting card, Crucial Snare. Cooldown reduction, physical pen, but it also has an active which will slow anyone who's attacking you. This is huge for team fights for Kalari and you ganking chances because it gives you an extra resource to help you escape a situation. If you're looking to build armor, we can now use uh, Quantum Casting and we can use Etherweave Mesh, but bear in mind, this is probably not a normal thing to do and very unlikely for you to actually do as Kalari, but it is an option. But dude, Kalari, oh my god, I can't wait. The patch comes out and I'm gonna be playing Clary again at last. Don't forget, we do actually have some new card updates as well. They've changed the way many armor penetration cards will work. The cards affected are Plasma Channel, Satori Cloak, Splinterback Vest, Scorpion Plate, Fire Piercer, Rocket Spike, and Scourging Tails. They've been changed 
from you doing more damage through armor to a new thing called shredding the armor. What this means is when you have armor pen, you would attack someone with the armor and you remove it from them temporarily. You and your whole team will now do more damage to that person. Not just you getting through their armor, but you've ripped away their armor and that's huge. It's gonna help counter the armor meta and make for shorter games overall. A great, great change because tanky bruises and the like and carries building the armor that they've been doing will suffer greatly. So hopefully it means we can all build more damage cards to avoid this effect. Now for the best part, by far, skins. Glorious skins. Just look at this fucking Rampage skin, man. It looks so goddamn good. Note that it also has some new animations with the floating rocks around him. But wait, there's more. Look at him when he goes into his ultimate form. Oh my god, that is so fucking good. It has to be the best tier 2 skin yet. The potential in this game with skins, man, it's so fucking high because the graphics are so good. They can do so much with it. Don't forget we actually have a couple of new tier 1 skins. We have Sephirog and his Oracle skin and Twin Blast in his very cool Tron themed Energized skin. But wait, you didn't expect this one did you? We also have another tier 2 skin coming in this patch. That's right, the same level as the beautiful Red Beetle Grux, the same level as the new Rampage Obsidian skin, and guess who it's for? It's for Murdoch. Are you ready? Are you hyped? Here comes the tier 2 Murdoch skin. <coughs> what the fuck is that? It's called Bio Freak Murdoch, and I think a lot of people will really love this skin. Whereas I think it looks ridiculous. Looks like something out of Mass Effect, which is cool, but god damn, it just looks so goofy, man. Maybe it'll look better once I see it in game, and here's a screenshot of it, which does actually make the skin look a lot nicer. I don't know, man, it just... I, uh, you look at the Rampage skin, and then you look at the Murdoch skin. What is better than the other in my eyes? That's all for now, guys. I wish you the best of luck in this new update. I'm going to go get my Kalari ready. Don't forget, you can check out the video yourself if you want to watch it. The link is in the description with all the music used as well. And of course, the patch notes are linked in there as well. See you next time, guys.